thank you everybody for attending what I call the Ask Benny Thompson Show. Today is Tuesday, so I want to give my two cents on the real estate industry. So I want to talk about a topic I seem to be lately very familiar with, and that's with getting over asking price on properties. Um, you have to understand something. Uh, a property well priced will sell. A property well property well priced, decluttered, and looks inviting for the buyer will sell even faster. Um, the real estate transaction is not a try it now price, right? The real estate transaction should come with a professional marketing analysis when you hopefully have all the data you can gather, meaning I live on 123 Main Street, right? So I say, hmm, my house looks like 122 and 121. This one sold for five. That one sold for 510. 505, similar condition, three bedroom, 60 by 100 lot. I should probably sell for 505 as well. Some people have the mindset, although these prices sold from 500 to 510, let's price it at 530. Only problem with that is, the consumers have the information and so do many of the sellers. So you pricing it at 530 or worse yet 540, which a try it now price is going to bring you less people that want to make an offer, right? Because they may be qualified at 500, right? So my thing is, why not price it at 505 or even 499? Then the market will dictate if they want to pay more. You kind of get the way this works. So price it at what the homes are gonna actually sell for. The mark would say yes or no by way of demand. And then if there's a huge demand for your property, people would now compete and pay more for that product. I'm kind of smart, but I'm more am someone who likes, I believe is wisdom, meaning learning from others. And others have said that when you do what's called the auction effect, you can get more money for your property, meaning pricing it at the $4.99. Everyone will look and say, well, wow, house is sold for $5.10 and $5.05. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that want this home. Then you have the conversation with your seller, and then you have the conversation with your buyer. Hey, Mr. Buyer, this house is well-priced. There's going to be a lot of competition. Let's put our best foot forward with financing options. In addition to financing options, you may want to pay a little more money for this property. But no worry. Let's say you want to make a 510 offer, right? $10,000 for the seller is a lot of money. $10,000 for us, eh, maybe it's $40 or $50. So you want to price it well as a listing agent. And if you're a buyer, you want to put your best foot forward and offer maybe even more money for the home so you can get a great deal for you and your family, right? 30, 40, 50 bucks on against a mortgage for $2,500, I assume it's not going to make or break you. So essentially, that's how you get over asking, pricing it and then having your product look well, right? Make the home inviting so someone wants to come in and actually, you know, make a purchase on a home, declutter, keep it nice. Homes right now in the New York area, post or during COVID, whatever this is, uh, they're moving. And my friends that work in different parts of the country, homes are selling right now, right now, as of July 15th, this is not a housing crisis. It is a health crisis. We were on a downturn, unfortunately, for many places in the U.S., we saw that up Looks like less, less deaths, but still more infections. And I hope this stays to get in line and we get better at disseminating information to our people to keep us healthy. But right now, the housing market is humming along. Uh, it's almost free. A buddy of mine called me and told me that the interest rates right now 
for this particular client he had yesterday was 2.5. If you know your history, you know 2.5, it's free money. They might as well be zero at 2.5, right? So for the buyers, get in now. As the saying goes, get in where you fit in. For the sellers, this now increased the price of your home because the rate to borrow is so low, right? That's why the prices of the homes are going up for this very same reason. So you see my buddy in the background, right? That's my buddy, Trey Cooper from Atlanta. His tagline is Atlanta's best realtor. Hey, you know, Atlanta's best real realtor. Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island's best realtor right here. That's what I call myself. I'll take the time. Uh, I feel good about this economy for now. Uh, who knows what the future may bring. Um, but it's a good time to buy and a good time to sell. And I'm able many times to get my clients over asking with buyers that are really motivated. They want a home for their family. They want to start a legacy. And sellers that want top dollar that paid hard, right? Paid, paid uh, they, they paid uh, a lot of money when they bought their home and they worked hard to come to the point of sale, right? So they made those, they made those mortgage payments every month, right? Principal, interest, tax, and insurance, pity. They paid, they paid, they paid, they paid. And now it's time for them to retire, take that money, and maybe trade up to buy a new home. If they're not trading up to buy a new home, maybe they are paying off some school debt for their children. Maybe that $500,000 house can now create a legacy for other people, you know, for four or five other people to start their, their journey. So it all depends, right? So that being said, uh, I would say make sure that uh, we are, uh, make sure to make good offers on these homes. Uh, getting over asking is not a bad thing. And put your best foot forward when it comes to you purchasing a home for you and your family, right? And those simple steps. So sell the house for what it actually is going to sell for. Do your research, right? Check out similar priced homes in similar condition. Declutter it, all right? Uh, you agents, also my coworkers, co broke the house, get it sold. You know, I check that too when I'm looking. Was it co broke or not? What kind of condition? Was it one picture? Was it a shadowy iPhone picture? I'm not sure. Sure. And don't do the try it now prices, right? You're a professional realtor. Sell the home for what you think you can sell for. Use the information and the knowledge that you have to do the deal the right way. All right. So that's all I got to say for all you guys out there. If you have uh, a real estate need and uh, you live in another state, you can call me. Um, I'll take great care of you and your referral. I work with anybody from any real estate company. I am currently at Keller Williams Landmark 2, but if you are from Compass, Long, and Foster, Exit Realty, Berkshire Hathaway, um, EXP, Century 21, doesn't matter where you're from. If you have a referral in New York City, I will help your client escape NYC for the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. Oh, and let me tell you our value proposition. Um, I specialize in a lot of elderly clients, but I help them declutter, paint, put their stuff in storage, and get the highest amount of money in the shortest amount of time. Many times if they don't have the money and they may be house rich and cash poor, we can put those fees on the back of the loan and they can pay at closing, all right? So this is my value proposition that I, I give to people and they find great use of it, right? We're all here to be used, not abused. Over and out, Vinny Thompson from askvinnythompson.com. Thank you.